Hello anyone, Mr. Skyson here and welcome back to more Duke Nukem 2. Last time we ran through another prison area and fought off some weird mutant wolves. Today we've made our way to the second boss fight of the game. Now let's go kick some slimy alien booty. Getting ready, loading, and... Well maybe we can just shoot a slimy alien booty. Uh, these are new boots and it uh... It takes a while to wash out slime. And yeah, here's the boss room. We left off here last time, briefly. A uh, simple background, but I kind of like it. It looks... it looks interesting, somewhat. It actually reminds me of... Oh, what was it called? Metropolis Zone? In Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Never cared for that level all that much. But yeah, you got a barrier, so you can't just say, Hello, boss, I'm leaving. You know, walk out. As funny as that would be to do, I would love to do that in a game. But yeah, no boss yet. He is on the far left of the level, which is a good thing because it gives you a chance to prepare. You've noticed that I have shot down the, uh, or exploded these things in the ground. Boss should be, yeah, he, he's, he's right there. Oh, crap, he's starting without me. Yeah, there's the boss. He's got a new, uh, new way of attacking me now. And he's got a, uh, oh, crap. I wasn't paying attention. And he has a new rocket thrown of such of some sort, rather. Not really sure what he's got there, but it looks like a nice way to get around. If you recall, in the first fight, he had some sort of capsule or something where he would drop a lot of bombs. In this one, it's a it's a, a rocket throne where he flies around the room and occasionally tries to land on me. Like so. A considerably easier fight, to be honest. But I will applaud them for having a different kind of boss fight for each, uh, boss fight. Because if you'll recall, in the first Duke Nukem game, it's all just the same, just the same fight in a new room. So, it's, a uh, well, comparing the first Duke with the second Duke is kind of like comparing Super Mario with Sonic the Hedgehog. With Super Mario, every time you fought the boss, it was just the same boss. Maybe a slight change, but other than that, uh, the same boss. In this one, different room, different boss, different way to fight the boss. I mean, you're still just going around shooting him, but he attacks you differently, and I, I like that. They tried to get creative with it. Whoop. Still a weird looking boss. Big, uh, lava blob guy. Which is weird, because he's pretty much the only one that looks that way. At least that we've seen. Ah! I mean, there was that lava monster in that lava factory. I I'm not really sure what that was, but, uh, we had that, which may or may not have been this guy. But other than that, it's been the robots, uh, ta-da! Full health. It's been, like, the robots, the guys in the spacesuits that looked possibly human? Question mark? And things like that. Uh, snot blobs and such. Nothing else that looks like this guy. Kinda makes me wonder if they just have, whoa, mixed armies or what? I'm wondering who or what it is I'm fighting. And I've won! Yay! No, oh, I'm leaving. <laughs> Well, took care of that guy pretty easy. Yes, yes you did. Man, not enough action in this hole. Maybe if I jump into this live volcano, things will liven up. Ayy! I am so screwed. Yeah, who knew jumping into a live volcano would be dangerous? I mean, it's just... I don't know, I wouldn't expect a volcano to be hot or full of danger. It doesn't seem like a place that you would get hurt, but whatever. Bonuses! Secret bonus 6! I forget what that is. Secret bonus 7! I forget what that is as well. Hmm. Yay, high score! Because I'm competing against so many people. Holy crap! Hey, I beat Skyson! Cool! <laughs> And so ends another episode of the game, once again leaving off with Duke exploring a new, possibly death-inducing area. What perils await our ultra-manly hero? Tune in next time to find out.
And for those of you keeping up, and for those of you not keeping up, I finally have my new computer up and running. Woo! I believe I mentioned not long ago that I was having some issues in building it. However, I have since sorted out the issues and even got a slight upgrade in the process, which is always cool. I'm still getting some things set up, installing stuff, etc., so I'm not using it yet, but I will be on it very soon, maybe a week or so. And with that, I should also be able to bring you some newer and maybe even more games, depending on how it all works out. I may be able to bring you games on more than just two days a week. While my current computer isn't necessarily bad, it does often have trouble recording while playing several games. Uh, the frame rates would tank, some games just refuse to play while I would be recording, and for some reason some games just don't want to record. I, I don't really get what the deal is with that, like Platypus 2. Still trying to get that one to work, but it doesn't want to record. But yeah, that's one reason why I've been keeping it relatively simple all this time. Uh, the other reason I just like these games. You know, play what you like. But anywho, this has been Duke Nukem 2 Episode 2. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, then give the like button a tap. And if you want to see more like this or more from me, then give the subscribe button a big thumbs up. I'll see you all next time, and remember to stay groovy.